Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a Halloween decorate with me to kick off this spooky season of October. So excited to be sharing with you all of the spooky decor in the house this year. So if you want to be inspired, just keep on watching. Like I said guys, today we're doing a Halloween decorate with me and typically the first thing I will do is go through my Halloween decor bins to see what I have already on hand, sort everything out. Of course, Kaya likes to help me go through all of the fun stuff. So I have a few things left over from last year. I don't have a ton of Halloween decorations. I haven't really gone crazy in the years past, but I did pick up a couple of things from Target value section as well this year. I get most of my Halloween decorations from the Target Value spot. They're just subtle and spooky and cute and they're so affordable. And since I'm just kind of stepping into the Halloween decorations, I think that it is a really good option. Plus I haven't seen anything like it um, anywhere else in any other stores. But I do have my eye on a couple of Pottery Barn items as well. And today I'm super excited to be sharing with you that I am teaming up with my good friend here on YouTube, Kaylin Cash. She is also over on Instagram. Instagram. She is doing a Halloween decorate with me video and I will be sure to have Kaylin's channel and video and Instagram linked down below for you guys. Kaylin is the cutest human being. I love her content and I love her style and I love her. I'm super excited to be sharing her with you guys today. So be sure you go and check her out and tell her that I sent you. The first thing that I like to do when I'm decorating is I like to set out all of my decorations in one place so I can kind of visualize them. And this little ghost garland is one of my favorites that I picked up this year over on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. It definitely gives me Nightmare Before Christmas vibes with the like twirly little balls and the ghosts. I think it's so cute. But I put it up on the mantle because I thought it was a perfect spot for it. Um, next year I would probably get a couple of more garlands to match maybe not the exact same one but matching ones so I could place them around the house they're just so cute and the texture just gives this like warm fuzzy but spooky texture anyway I got that strung up and then I got to work laying out the media center display I played around with this for quite a while I like to go back and forth you guys will see me decorate and redecorate several times this media center is a newer piece to our living room. As you guys know, we have a business called M&M Rustics where we build furniture and built-ins like mud rooms and hall trees and things like that. So that is where this media center came from. We have it in the living room for now. I think we're gonna have to make a like skinnier one, but it does the job for the time being. And then I also got these crows from the Target value spot. Now I noticed that they were not like all the same direction which is good but also like on the left hand side you can see there's only one style of crow um, that goes one way and one style of crow that goes the other way so I was hoping to kind of mix the styles up but I did the best that I could with these crows I thought it turned out so cute like I said I'm really getting Nightmare Before Christmas vibes with this theme that I'm doing this year it's very whimsical and I was hoping to go a little bit more farmhouse, but I'm so happy with how everything turned out with the wood tones, but the black spooky. And like I said, I'm redecorating a few things here. I wish this string would have been just a little bit longer so I could have hung it from the glass cloche. This is a glass candle cloche that I had gotten from Target for fairly cheap recently. But anyways, I am going to let you guys enjoy some of the decorating and leave it down below with what your favorite part of the Halloween decorations are and what is your favorite thing to decorate for Halloween.
I get so many questions on this garland. It's so cute, friggin' bats. Okay, guys, the bats are adorable. I got this from the Target Value Spot, though, like a year or two ago. I think it was actually two years ago. I was pregnant with Riker at the time. So I will try and find something similar and link it down below for you guys. But I think like that felt material adds just a little bit of warmth. It's not too spooky, scary for the kids. It's just kind of fun. And like I said, I get this like whimsical, um, spooky vibe from the decorations that I put up this year. And then this guy is also from the Target Value Spot last year, I believe. I like that black, sparkly, um, texture along with some of the signs and just adding that to my current fall decor. I love how this center display turned out. I was hoping to get around to making some Halloween themed signs. As you guys know, in my M&M Rustics business, I used to make signs and I was really hoping to make a couple of trick or treat signs this year, but that just did not work out. If you guys are interested to see how I make my signs, I will have a video linked down below for you guys that is fairly popular. That is my Hocus Pocus and Harvest Gather fall and Halloween signs. Super, super easy to make. Less than $25 for a set of signs and it adds so much to the front porch. One of my favorite things to add for Halloween decorations are lights. I think that lighting makes such a big difference when you do Halloween decorations as well as like Christmas decorations. I got these cute Halloween fairy lights from Target for $5 and I thought I added so much to that media center display and I like purple for the spookier vibe and then I also picked up some purple lights for the front porch and that will be coming for you guys in a separate video. I'll be doing a Halloween front porch decorate with me sometime here in the next week and I'm super excited to share that with you guys because it's going to be spooky. I've got some black gauze and like some other cool things that I picked up. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that Halloween front porch decorate with me and also a part two to this video because I will be doing a few more Halloween decorations around the house this year as well. So for this center display on the kitchen island, I was going for kind of like practical magic type of style, like kind of witchy. If you guys haven't seen Practical Magic, it's one of my favorite Halloween movies. I have a list of Halloween movies up over on my Instagram right now, but I was just feeling super inspired by like that witchy practical magic vibe. So I just have some plain unscented white candles that I got from Target and then I wrapped the stand. This is actually a cake stand that I wrapped with a little bit of black spider web, put a little skeleton dude from Target that was like $6, super cheap, stuck a sign in his lap and some pumpkins and boom, I got that witchy, cute, like spooky vibe with those candles and the pumpkins. I thought that the center display turned out so cute. I had so much fun with these little skeleton dudes this year. I had just added them, like a few of them this year. Like I said, $6 from Target, how do you go wrong? And they're actually really good quality and are more of like a marble looking. So they're like white with like black spiraled in them. But I'm so happy with how this year's Halloween decorations turned out. I usually don't go above and beyond for Halloween decorations, but I'm really liking how this turned out. And I think the kids are as well. Again, this garland is one of my favorite items that I picked up this year. I will definitely be grabbing a few more for next year and decorating the entryway with them. I think it would be so cute to have coordinating garlands around the house, but I'm so excited to cuddle up in the living room and watch Halloween movies in the spooky atmosphere. And something else that I like to play on the TV in the background when I'm working or if Riker is napping, I like to do the autumn cozy like background videos. It's just like crackling fire and like falling rain, things like that. I think it's so calming. The last thing that I'm sharing with you guys in today's video is a fun baking project. I picked up the spooky funfetti cupcake mix from Target. 
Kai and I had so much fun putting these cupcakes together. I am not a baker by any means, but this was easy enough. I let the cupcakes cool and then I, I used the green Funfetti vanilla frosting that goes with the cupcakes and it's supposed to be like slime cupcakes, but I actually used it to do a fuzzy monster type of cupcake. Again, I am not a professional baker. I'm actually using just like leftover plastic bags from the around the house to ice them. But after I got the frosting on, then Kaya and I decorated them with some eyeballs and some sprinkles. I also tried to frost one of these with marshmallow puff cream. It did not work out, it melted right off, even though the cupcakes were completely cooled. So that was a fail, but I was trying to do little ghost cupcakes. Oh well, it still tasted pretty good. And the rest of the cupcakes turned out super cute with that fuzzy monster type of look. They turned out pretty dang cute and they tasted pretty good as well. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for my Halloween 2020 decorate with me. Like I said, there will be a part two to this and a front porch Halloween decorate with me. So excited to share all of the spooky things with you guys this year. Happy spooky season. I hope you guys find some fun things to do and cuddle up and watch some Halloween movies this year. I know I definitely will be, but I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys.